guys, so I actually just washed that makeup off that I just did a tutorial on, um, and I forgot to film an intro. I always, always do that, and then I'm, like, washing it off, and I'm, like, I should, there's something I needed to do, you know? Yeah, and then I totally forgot, and, um, yes. Yeah, so, let's just get right into the video. Alrighty, so first things first, we're going to cancel out the um, pigmentation on our eyelid. And I'm just using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light and my Beauty Blender. And all I'm going to do is just kind of dot some of my lid. And then blend it out with the Beauty Blender. Now I'm going to set that down with some Cody Airspun Powder, and this is just the translucent extra coverage formula. I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my brush and just set down my concealer. <coughs> it smells like my grandmother. Good powder, but it smells like my grandmother. For the red crease color, we're just going to take this red shade out of the um, Beauty Treats blush palette, and it's just this really red shade right here. I'm just going to take that, and we're not going to worry about transition shades at all, and we're just going to buff that into like the upper crease, because we uh, want to blow it out. And you want to build this up because when it's sheared out it looks pink, and I've never heard of pink blood. So now I'm going to take a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and just take that in kind of a vertical motion my eyelid and a little in my crease and don't worry about it blending together with the red and turning pink it's not a big deal go all the way out to the edge of your eye then take a flat brush and just kind of blend the color out a little bit and don't worry about like i said before like harsh edges in your crease not a big deal so it's okay to have a little bit of extra white in your crease right here. So we're going back into that same red shade from the Beauty Treats palette. And on this sort of flat liner brush, I'm just taking the red. And I'm going to start in my inner corner. And I'm just going to kind of like stamp it. And I'm just creating kind of red stripes that are a little bit thinner towards the bottom. And right now we look like a walking candy cane. You can kind of dab the color on. It doesn't have to be um, like straight, like perfect straight. It's actually better that it's not. And you can go, you have to go up all the way to the end of the white. Now you're gonna, you're gonna grab a any black pencil liner. I have the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion. And you're gonna just kind of outline what is going to be these blood drips and you want to make like a circle at the bottom like this it's best if you have a liner with like some slip to it um that's not going to be that's not going to pull on your lid too much and now you want to just fill it in and because your black liner is going to mix with the white base we have down, um, don't worry if it turns kind of gray. So now I'm going to grab a small liner brush and go into Blackout from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I'm just going to take that on my liner brush and I'm just going to go over the black. And if you start to lose some of the red, it's not a big deal. So now I'm going to take this smudger brush. It has a lot of red eyeshadow on it. <laughs> and I'm going to wet it. I'm going to just like kind of blot it off in the back of your hand a few times to get some of the excess off. And um, because you don't want this too wet, but you don't want it too dry. And then take that same um, red shade that we used before. And then at this point, if you have any bare patches, just fill them in with 
whatever color. You can blend your crease a tiny bit if you want. I'm going to sweep away the fallout. And you might have like some concealer down here um, so it might stick. Just cleaning that up. So at this point, if you are wearing any other makeup, like I don't have any foundation on because I'm not really going to wear this out anywhere. <laughs> um, so I am, at this point, you would do your foundation and concealer and brows and whatever else. And then you would come back in with your face makeup because you have to be able to clean this up. And then we will do all of this um, after that. So to do these, this part of the look, um, we're just going to take this same shader uh, kind of brush, go into the red, and we're going to do one blood drop from our inner corner and just kind of make it curvy. You can just kind of dab the shadow on because it doesn't have to be perfect. And just kind of make lines and then we will fill them out later. Make some longer. Just like that. So now we're gonna wet our brush again and kind of shape the blood drips the way we want them. So um, we're gonna let that fully dry and then we're gonna come back in with the black liner once again. Hey, Feature Marley here. I am laying in my bed editing this, as you can probably tell. I actually think I like it better without the liner part I'm about to do. And so if you want it to look a little bit more realistic, leave the liner out and end here and you can be done. Just pop on some mascara or falsies, whatever your choice is, and that can be it. Otherwise, you can do this if you want more of a cartoon blood drip look. So to finish things up, I'm going to take the same black liner. And I'm going to outline these blood drips. So at this point, you just want to take your blending brush in that red shade. And like blend out any harsh edges here. I'm going to just pop on a little bit of mascara. All right, and then this is the completed look. Um, yeah, it's just kind of a drippy blood type of thing. Perfect for costume makeup and whatever else you want to do. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Comment down below some challenge ideas for 50 subscribers when I hit that mark because... I will be doing some sort of challenge and I need some suggestions. And if your suggestion is picked, I will give you a shout out. So, yes. Um, and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye.